topics. So we are going to discuss about the exceptional drug in direct acting symptomatics that is clonidine. This clonidine is direct acting and act on alpha 2 adrenergic receptor. Yes, clonidine acts on alpha 2 adrenergic receptors. It is an alpha 2 agonist and it is used as anti hypertensive drug. Why this is used as an anti hypertensive drug? By all the other drugs, for increasing the blood pressure because this clonidine acts on alpha 2 receptors. And then alpha 2 receptor is an inhibitory receptor. Alpha 2 receptor is an inhibitory receptor. So obviously, when you will stimulate an inhibitory receptor, it will cause inhibition, not the stimulation. So this is an exceptional case in the case of direct acting. Symptomatics that while one turn at first, the adrenergic receptors stimulate the receptors but cause what it will cause when it block the alpha 2. Okay, do you know where this alpha 2 receptor is and what the function of this alpha 2 is? So, for this purpose, we have to draw first a neuron synaptic cleft. Do you remember that there is dopa? And that dopa is converted into dopamine, and this dopamine is stored in the recycle. Yes, and it's converted into norepinephrine, and this norepinephrine, by fusing this membrane, releases norepinephrine, which act on the receptor, which will reuptake and by reuptake one mechanism. And there is an other thing that there is an the receptor present which is inhibitory in nature and when this receptor is this, this alpha 2 receptor this is alpha 2 receptor 7 transmembrane adrenergic receptor alpha 2 receptor and when clonidine comes here it binds to the receptor it causes conformational changes stimulate the inhibitory receptor and this inhibitory uh, decoupled protein will cause decreased cyclic EMP concentration which will inhibit the release of norepinephrine. So norepinephrine will be decreased in synaptic left. This is reduced norepinephrine. This alpha 2 was an eye of synaptic left and you have blocked the eye which cannot see that way that there is a requirement of norepinephrine or not, but it has just reduced the machinery to release the norepinephrine. This clonidine also caused inhibition of vasomotor center in the nervous system. It will inhibit vasomotor center, and then what will happen to polyneuronal pathway and sympathetic outflow? What will happen? This all will be diminished. So, vasomotor center is inhibited, and when this quantity inhibits the vasomotor center, it will lead to decreased sympathetic output. So, this quantity decreases norepinephrine in cleft, it blocks vasomotor center. So, what it will cause? It's blocking catecholamine that was stimulatory, that was increasing blood pressure. So what it will cause, it will decrease blood pressure. Obviously, it will cause decrease in the blood pressure. And while the blood pressure is decreased or reduced, then this drug can be used as an anti hyper Hypertensive drug used to reduce blood pressure. It is also used, it's a very good usage that this drug is used for tobacco cessation.
It is also used for opiates when there is opiates withdrawal and also about the uh, withdrawal of benzodiazepines. So it's but it should not be withdrawal at once because it will cause if it is withdrawal will abruptly it will cause the rebound hypertension means blood pressure which was lowered will be all vanished and then hypertension will be caused again. If it decreases sympathetic flow inhibit the sympathetic vasomotor center. So this decreasing sympathetic flow to periphery, it will have the side effect lethargy. The patient will feel a fatigue, it will feel sedation and then constipation and then zero stomia. Yes, these are the effects, the side effects. Just because of decrease the sympathetic outflow or decrease of these neurotransmitters which are released. So we have discussed the clonidine until here. The clonidine is alpha 2 energetic receptor stimulant. Alpha 2 is present presynaptically and presynaptically when it is activated it will cause decreased norepinephrine in the synaptic left and decreasing synaptic left in norepinephrine and the synaptic left will reduce the and then stimulate reaction, reduce the blood pressure. So this is a fast drug we can use for antihypertension. Centrally, if you want someone to seize the tobacco, we can use clonidine for that. Opioid withdrawal, then clonidine is used, and benzodiazepine withdrawal. But if you will withdraw clonidine, it will cause rebound hypertension. So all the direct taking sympathomimetic drugs we have discussed till here. If there is any issue, you can ask in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.